your personal preference. Shut your goddamn ear. You talking to you from the shit. W balls. W balls. W balls. <laughs> These guys have no idea. These guys have no idea what you're talking about. No. We're, we're talking about the two hip hop albums. The one, the Chronic, the Chronic came by... out. It came out in 1990. What did it come out? 98. Oh, 97? no, earlier than that. Early. But the Chronic and the uh, Chronic was like 90, yeah, 93, 93 94, oh, maybe. Fuck. Yeah. I think Doggy Style was 94. I think the Chronic was 93. 92. December 15th, 92. 92. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. 98. And Doggy before Style that, was by and Even before that was Rage. Was it 98? I think um, it was in the 92. Oh, yeah. Still in the room without a view. Ew. All right. Um, I'm ready. Ready? Astrid, shut up. We're fucking live. We're doing video Stone. game modding. Live. We're doing it live. Lame. You're like a <laughs> fucking nerd episode. Fucking nerd. <laughs> That's right. So we're talking all about video game modding. Um, and modding of video games, including systems. So oh, I need to go grab my console. Y'all keep talking. Oh yeah. So Teddy's he's gonna be our resident. And you're supposed to be drunk, Teddy. You don't seem to yeah, be very Teddy, drunk. Yeah, Teddy, you don't seem right very now. drunk. Yeah. The fuck? You let us down. Yeah. Grab that fucking the fuck out of here, you. I'm gonna start drinking on the show. Shut the fuck up. Just get my modded consoles together. They're kind of <laughs> dusty. I gotta get. I gotta get them all out. Let me right back. All right. <laughs> so Teddy looks. He, that was a uh, pretty gangster looking fucking uh, Xbox there. That was an original Xbox Teddy had. It looked like he had a PS3 as well. But we're talking about video game modding. And the reason why uh, I want to talk about this is I recently picked up a Quest 2 a few days ago, which is the new Oculus Quest. And um, there's a website called SideQuest VR. And what SideQuest does is it is basically this repository for you to load um, unsupported apps and um, other mods and things onto your uh, Oculus Quest and play them. And most of those things are free. There's the vodka bottle. My nipples are so hard. And uh, <laughs> an ashtray has a oh, Heineken can. It's going to be... What, what, what is it with these cans that you keep the seagull killing shit on? What is this? Like every can you're drinking for the last past like six episodes has been a six pack and you had the little the little holes. I say I seagulls. saved the last uh, the last ones on the rings for uh, for just the, for episodes. <laughs> just really? To get, just to get your attention. Oh yeah, I I got two of them left in the fridge. I was like, oh you know I could say this so Teddy can be like. Who should do goddamn rings? On your <laughs> but this is the first time he I fell right, right into my trap. Weeks. Yeah, your, your trap you said two weeks ago. I would have survived. Fuck you. Keep going, Oracle. So one of the things that I found on I SideQuest is yeah. these the series of mods done by this guy, Dr. Beef. And what he's done <laughs> is he's modded. <laughs> Look, some of these modded, some of these hackers named are Probably real fucking cool. Oh, yeah, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> some of them are real cool. That's the most people, incredible name I've ever best heard. Best doctor right. name ever. This guy yeah. is a fucking maniac genius who's porting <laughs> over all of these fucking classic first-person shooters. So this is Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which came oh, out really? in 2001, I believe. And it's fucking amazing in VR. I mean, it is absolutely amazing in VR. And That's he's ported a And he's Quake just 2. doing this, like, on his own? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, just yeah, for yeah. the fuck of it? Just... just for the fuck of it. That's how hackers wow. do. That's that's yeah. how they do it, man. There's this yeah. whole modding community out there. Oh, and yeah. This guy, if you tell him. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. It, I mean, he's just a fucking. They're, they're, so he's done Half-Life. So you can play Half-Life in vr he's cool. done quake one he's done doom i think there's a hexen port that he's done yes how does it work in the sense of uh movement and stuff with your arm your hand controllers compared doom to your and vr not never yeah, that, yeah i don't i don't even want to play that shit on, on, on a 65 inch flat screen I'm yeah, not I refuse, yeah i refuse yeah i refuse to play it, hands it i mean 
I was I mean, playing yeah, Return to Castle fucking... Wolfenstein tonight and just being in like the crypt because there's all this occult shit. Yeah, but, it's yeah, it's fucking that, intense, killing, man. Killing, yeah. yeah, killing Nazis is one thing in the world, but but being sent down into hell and fight your way out in <laughs> yeah, VR, yeah. that's a totally different yeah, different scenario. So to answer Ashtray's question, basically what it is is you're in the game. So in the original first person shooter, you would look around um, with your mouse look, right? And your gun and, would always follow. And your gun would always right. follow. What they have done is, okay, now you look around with your head. They have modeled in the guns. So you hold the guns and you move the guns around. You can stab people or Half-Life, you use the crowbar. So they've put that in there. Oh, wait, so Grab they the actually do the work to awesome. change the gun? Yes. So it's yeah. free form and the yes. real... See, I thought... I thought they did it the easy way, which is just put the nope. put the first person camera in the headset, so you're always looking around, but you're going always, you know. Nope. Yeah, it, it is a with it, so. r- fucking wow, is... full on. Okay. It is amazing. Like this is seriously the best. Sex dedication. Now, is it hard God. to aim though, or I don't see you any like look down the practical. sights, man. Oh yeah. You gotta look down the sights. Just... Yeah, it so is... you got no dot or anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fucking great. Um, <laughs> it, it's got room scale. You move around. So this is something that you will have to have uh, VR legs to play because you are moving around just like you would in a first-person shooter. So, oh, okay, so it's got the wobbles up with it. Well, not so much the wobbles. So the thing that really gets people is uh, when you're first starting out and the reason why they have teleport in a lot of games or they have yeah, the teleport just... in a lot of games because if you move without... Um, like if you just hit forward, uh, on the stick, because you're so immersed, your brain's just like, what the fuck? And that goes away after time. Um, and honestly, I fucking not for ashtray because he keeps punching shit, (laughs) but (coughs) so I still have a lump in this knuckle. (laughs) Yeah. So this got me thinking though. I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is insane that this exists. This didn't just come out it's of all free? the blue. It's all free. 100% free. So I have all these games for free on my Quest. I just sit on my couch so and fucking play. Is there an app that like you have to load into the Quest to then load the games through sort of thing? So what what you do is you Who get, is you uh, get? Uh, this program, SideQuest. You uh, download it onto your computer. So I can this use is, this even for mine? Uh, you cannot. You need a Quest in order to do this. What? Hence so my rent is quest. too cool for it? So, so what this it's does? Too fucking old for it, bro. You, you get this hook shit on up, eBay. hook up your Quest to your PC, and then this will download this to your your Quest. And I there are it. thousands of fucking games and mods and shit. Okay, on there. so and so here's games. my so here's my question. Um, it, it's, how much it's, is? Or I mean, space wise, well, it, it's it's free. What well, I don't care about. It, but the thing is, is it is it. Is it the mod? I know the mod community in the past few years have been has been accepted uh, and things like that. Um, mm-hmm. Is 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 the Oculus open to this kind of thing? Are they ha- okay with it? With well, the kind of modding? Are they are they saying like if you do this shit, you get caught online? We were gonna break your system. I mean, what what are the repercussions for doing this? Right. So let let me uh, tell you a little bit about this. So the <laughs> Oculus Quest. Hold the Doctor Beef. Hold yeah. the Doctor Beef. So. I, the, I, so let's talk about the history of modding um, and kind of some of the major kind of uh, touchstones that have happened over the years. So the first game that was uh, widely modded and uh, is still most modded game is Doom, the original Doom. And you guys have oh, really? probably seen stuff where people have made, you know, your, yeah, they, your fucking refrigerator can play fucking Doom. Your... Yeah, they, they talk about it in the in the uh, in that high scores um, right right thing. The guy the guy said that after after a while after like a year or so of it being out, they just released this, if you bought the game, they released the source code to you and, yep. and let you do whatever you wanted. But you had to buy the game first before they let you, you buy had it to out. buy the yeah. game, right? Yeah. And so the reason why they did that is they noticed when they release uh, Return to or not Return to Castle Wolfenstein Wolfenstein 3D, people were trying to mod that, but they didn't have the tools to do it. So they were doing the best. That they could, and they made this like attack of the Smurfs, um, first person shooter, Castle Smurfenstein. So <laughs> after Doom came out, they're like, okay, well, people are trying to get in on this shit, and it's actually it's making them more interested in the game well beyond you know the it's life cycle lame. of that game. Yeah. So they're like, okay, it well, was we're a multiplayer. Gonna, so we're going to release the tools for Doom. 
And they released that, and John Carmack, who was uh, the programmer for Doom, the old main John programmer, Carmack. old John Carmack, he uh, created the system that used WAD files, or WAD, uh, where's all the data. Woo. And basically what that, do- <laughs> I, what I that did... I don't your mom used those. And it, ah. it, basically what it did is it pulled the, the, the data out of the engine so people could swap that shit out or, you know, manipulate it in a much easier way. So after the success of that, that was massively so successful. So a file is a part of the programming of the game? So it, it's actual files like packs that it pulls, the game pulls data from. So you can actually switch those files out uh, if you want to. Okay. So this was a, a, a major success. And I mean, Doom is still going strong today. And there are fucking tens of thousands of mods that exist for it. Oh, then yeah. uh, Half-Life came out, you know, and that was a smash hit. And Valve realized, um, okay, yeah, there's a lot of value here. We're going to... Uh, make sure that our engine and tools are available out there. So they actually have a long history of having this stuff. And um, Counter Strike, you guys have, uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure, heard of Counter Strike. That's a mod. I've That's, never, I've never heard of any game yeah. called Counter Strike. You're, you're speaking <laughs> yeah. fucking fake news to me. <laughs> That's a mod, right? And mod of what game though? Huh? <laughs> Half Life. Half Life. Right. Uh, Half Life. Okay, cool. So <laughs> Counter Strike. Um, and Team that was Fortress. a huge hit. There was things like uh, Gary's Mod, Team Fortress <laughs> came from Quake. Um, oh, and no, Team Fortress is based off of fucking Half-Life. Team Fortress, it, which classic. Is, came, classic was based off of Half-Life. The, the new one came out from Quake. Oh, from Quake. okay. The, well, the old one, the original yeah, Team Fortress. I'm, ta- I'm talking OG. So the original oh, yeah, sorry, Team bad, Fortress came from Quake. I didn't say Team Fortress. Ashtray, stop, stop. Under stop second guessing either of them with video games. You're true. <laughs> so there are all all of these different mods and like. shit that exist. And companies Skyrim, the fucking <laughs> mods out there are insane for Skyrim. Have you, have, have you if you have the Xbox One version of Skyrim, the one they the, the when they came out with uh, re released, um, they have all of that mod shit that you can yeah. put it in the game. You yeah. could actually they they actually have been never really played a Skyrim. How many Skyrims well, are there? Oh, there are there's, so there's many only one Skyrim. Skyrims. What? Well, there's Skyrim. only one Skyrim, but there's, there's only fucking... one Skyrim, but there's a fuck ton of mods. I mean, right. I have I have a spider chest that follows me around anywhere I go, so I can just turn around and push it in it. I never have to fucking yeah. It's fucking it's fucking dope what you see people go up with. And the reason why that exists is because Bethesda released a creator kit. They're yeah. like, okay, here, fucking make make shit. Make your own Here, worlds. Do whatever do you want. Do our job. Right. Do yeah, our job. Yeah, pretty right? much. Pretty much. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> but it's Trey's so... new art installment is just giving you Illustrator and being like, "Here, <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> make me something." Exactly. But <laughs> be like, "Here, here's a mobile factory lighter kit. You know, kid. Right? Like, yeah. come here, make your own lighters. Yeah, here. make your own <laughs> lighters." <laughs> but it's such a brilliant move by the game designers because it's extending the life of this game for years yeah. and years and years to come for sure yeah and yeah. also it's good for the community because the community <laughs> a lot of prominent game designers came from the game modding scene right and they were valve, in their mother's basement and they finally got a job right they finally got a job <laughs> and valve you know is a company that has hired you know the people that created the counter strike mods they fucking hired them and and brought them on and turned it into a multi fucking million dollar business. So um, going back to that, the CTO, the chief um, technology officer for Oculus um, until last year, and now he is also he still works with Oculus, but he's not there full time. Is drum roll, John Ashtray's Carmack. Mom. Oh. Dr. Beef? John Carmack, the guy that fucking created Doom. That oh. was totally into the whole fucking mod thing and basically launched it for fucking the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring, so, bringing it full circle here, fellas. Bringing it right, full right. fucking circle. Yes. So, what a great story. Great story. Oculus, the, the quest has, you can have unknown sources and you can do that on the Rift as well, but I'm, to have that ability to bring in these mods like that seriously enhances this fucking system. Like, it just makes yeah. it fucking legendary. Um, legendary. Right. So, 
Let's talk about mods and kind of you know Grand what Theft the deal Auto is. is a big modding one. Though. Yes, Grand Theft Auto That's Five. Awesome. All the Grand yeah. Theft Autos um, <laughs> have a lot of modding. They do a lot of cool shit. They do you know uh, there's like a f- super hyper realistic graphic one. They'll do like you know you can be Iron Man and shit like that. Yeah. They do like movies and stuff with it. So a mod, um, according to moddb.com, which is one of the big kind of um, repositories that has been around since 2002 and it really kind of fosters the community uh according to them a short for a mod is short for a modification uh generally applied to a customized or altered computer game made by the general public so a mod can range from a total conversion with new gameplay look and feel through a minor uh through to minor alterations which could include new models weapons maps etc there are plenty of types and tons of styles. A mod can be anything the creators want it to be. And basically what you want to do, um, if you want to use the mods, uh, if you're on PC, it's much easier to use the mods. You can do it through Steam. They actually have a Steam workshop where you can apply these mods to your games uh, that are eligible. For bigger mods, some of these these bigger conversion ones, you can go to a site uh, like moddb.com or nexusmods.com, and there are fucking <coughs> tens of thousands of mods, uh, and some of them are total conversions tens of, of games and different versions of games. Now, they're free. These are free, and the people that do them, uh, they might have like a, a but do you have to PayPal have the base button. Game? So you do have to have the base game. Base yeah. game, yeah. You have to own the base game in order to, to play the mod. And the people that are doing this, they're not making any fucking money. These are just labors right. of love. They're you know getting together, making these small teams, making shit happen. And these but, communities, you know, these websites, they have like a job boards. They say, okay, yep, we're look, looking for a level designer. And then they'll have like tutorials and shit on these these sites too. Like, okay, how do you get started making levels? You know, this is how you can cut your teeth. Uh, oh, so the mod communities will teach you how to get <laughs> yes, into the, the modding, right? Because they want people to get into this. You know, they want more talent and more people to. It's almost it's like a game in itself, right? You know, there are yeah. games out there like Dreams for PS4. Uh, dreams. That's what you do. You fucking make a little game. You're basically modding the game, right? Well, they had they had the same thing for Xbox. It's a uh, it's a they came out as free. It's called Star something or whatever. But you pretty much make things like when the, U- the engine Unity came out. Uh, you yeah. could actually download that for free and create games. Yeah, and now absolutely. after and then I remember like five six years ago when that shit first came out and people were telling me about it when I was into this type of shit. I was too stoned to fucking care. And now you see all these games coming. out. I was like created with uh, powered by Unity engine and stuff. Right, right. And, and the, the and they the, I think the industry kind of use this 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 way which they should have done to make their jobs easier because a lot every time a game comes out people always want something different or it's not going to appeal to everybody's sense or whatever never satisfies mm-hmm. them. Ne- right never satisfied so so using this they can have the community say okay this is the game if you're not satisfied with it then then these are the tools to make it so you it can satisfy you and they will learn from that and make it a better game from it right and they, yeah, and they it, took and like and as and for skyrim they took that fucking one of the things they took the thing and made it so that other people could play yeah they yeah so they listen they listen and help other people out so Cool. Yeah, I mean, and one of the great things, <laughs> like for these first-person shooters, like um, for instance, uh, Return to Caf- Castle Wolfenstein. There's you, you get that you got the base game. For all of these games, there are mods <clears throat> to bring in high texture packs, so you're updating the graphics, so the graphics are considerably better than what they were when the game originally came out. And you know this work has been done um, for a lot of these these games out there. So it's Which it just adds crazy. so much life to the game, so much yeah. life to it. Mm-hmm. So uh, some of the more prominent uh, mods, some top mods. This is uh, on Kotaku, Black Mesa, which is a remake yeah. of Half Life One in the Half Life Two engine. Yep. And I mean. It looks fucking gorgeous. Baby Black Mesa. Boy, uh, that was a joke. Ha ha. The uh, DayZ. So there are actually a couple mods made off of the Arma. Uh, and so Arma is like a military. Um, <coughs> military. It came out. Arma is, it's it's. 
it's a, it's a military sim. It's a military sim that uh, they the army came out with to to train people yeah, on in the army. The one that the well, that's America's right? army, Finance. isn't it? Right. Yeah, it's America's army. But I thought that Emma, I thought I thought it was I thought it was Arma is a different the... Arma is oh, a different okay, thing. See, okay. Yeah, so yeah, Arma, Army, Ar- was... Arma's like a military sim. So DayZ, so that's like a survival uh, game. Yeah. That is based off the Arma. Players Unknown Battlegrounds. That's based an on Arma, Arma yeah. mod. Even though oh, it took really? him like twelve years to come out. Okay. Yeah, even though it took him like yeah. Well, um, Player Unknown is a is, is a guy. His gamer tag is Player Unknown. Uh, he modded the game. It took him a while to do it. That's why it's called Player Unknown Battleground. Well, I always wondered that. I was like, what? Yeah, what? that's a modder. That's oh. why. Yeah, that's that's it, he the guy Player Unknown's guy who modded it. That's why they, it's called Player Unknown Battleground. Uh, you learn yeah. something every day here at the Red Eye Report, ladies and gentlemen. Now right. you know, Astro. Now you fucking know. And, <laughs> and there's knowing so it's, it's what the battle. Yeah, so much shit out there. Um, yeah. it, it, it's fucking badass. So if you have a PC. <laughs> Uh, definitely worth checking out. And it's just kind of a cool scene to see like what these people are doing. And Valve, uh, a few years ago, they actually tried to kind of set up like a payment system on a Steam Workshop for these mods. And there was basically a revolt where they had to stop after like a week because they're like, no, we want this to be free. We don't <sighs> want this to be you know corrupted. Yeah. We don't want paywalls or whatever. We're doing this... Um, because what piddly money, you know, uh, that most of us are going to get. And then of course there are going to be a few, well, that's basically just game development, right? You know, that's kind of the same thing. So don't you have to pay for PUBG now though? No, you never No, PUBG is free. Um, you can't, you can buy, you can buy like a, like coin to buy, um, to buy loot boxes, but those loot boxes, it's all cosmetic. There's nothing, you're not going to find a special gun in there or a special thing that helps you beat everybody else, which is most pay for play, pay to play things do. And Uh, so 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 PUBG PUBG was also a stand, after a point, it became a standalone thing on its own too. Yeah. Now don't you have to pay for it on like, right. So, well, that's no, that's no longer a mod anymore. So it was based off of a mod initially. And then once it got, you know, to a certain point. So uh, another aspect of this that I wasn't really focusing on, uh, Teddy knows a lot more about this, is modding consoles. So that's a, <coughs> what's that, a 360, Teddy? Right. Uh, this is a 360 with a reset glitch hack. It was it was what came Did after. Just them after all the off? They actually look pretty clean. Uh, this one, if you notice, the back case is missing because uh, with this with this mod, it gets the chip in it. It gets extremely hot. With this mod, I can control the the, the I control the fan speed and everything else. And uh, one of the big things with 360, where they got the red ring of death, is because uh, the way the board is on here, it, it gets over it gets overheats and it warps the board and it fucks it up. So this thing's real loud, cranks it up. Uh, fuck my PS2. This has a Game Shark mod on it. Game yes. Shark, oh yeah. yeah. In order, in order to mod this console, I had to find the uh, back in the day. If you wanted to play on, on online on PS, oh, on I PS2, got one of those motherfuckers. You had, you had to have this big thing. It would been plug an old school IDE hard drive into it, and it fits in the back of this. And then you get a Game Shark disc, and you get another. Uh, the play you had to put in the player two slot. I don't know how these people figure this shit out, but if I take this 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 uh, card out of here, this memory card out of here, my mod won't work ever, ever, ever again. And I, oh <laughs> shit, really? Because it's all on this memory card, so when it loads up, it fucks. With the, with the CPU and and most you of the mods, you can't even slow. remove it once. <laughs> you can't. You can't ever remove it once, or it will fuck up the mod. So oh, I wow. keep it in, right? <laughs> and I'm not. Would, I'm not even. I'm surprised I'm not you don't sure have tape over I've it. Got, I've got two memory cards. I don't remember if it's the first or second, so I just <laughs> take it in when I'm out. <laughs> That's funny. And this is my. And then this is my pride and joy here. This is my. Uh, this is my uh, original Xbox. Ooh, the whole big fucking brick. Looking. Sexy motherfucker, right? This skin cost me like twenty five bucks back in the day. Uh, that was this was the first. This this is like this one. This system first came out. I, it, it cost me this. This was the first console I ever had modded. After that, I started doing them all myself. Uh, this has the executor mod on it. It's uh it's two hundred. It's got a two hundred fifty gig hard drive in it. And it's got every. It's got every Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Atari 2600, 7800, 5600, ColecoVision, and Television. All of those games, like all of the six, all from from arcade back. Until they started making video games, it has all that shit on there. Wow. I showed my son, I, my son, I showed my son Frog the other day, and he was like, he was like, what, what is this? I don't want to do this. Where's my switch? 
<laughs> so yeah, wh- right. where, how did you find out about that shit? Like, where uh, did you? Um, okay, so so the first when I first my Xbox first came out, I, w- I was buying all these games. My buddy came over with, with the same console I had, and he brought it on and he showed me all these games he had on. I was like, how the fuck did you do that? And he didn't know how, but he knew a guy that did it. And for two hundred fifty mm. bucks, I, I brought the guy the stuff. He would mod it for me. Uh, and so all I had to do with this console is pretty much I can hook it up to a computer if I want to and download things that way. But the easiest way, because uh, I lived like two blocks from a, from a Hollywood video, is to go and, 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 and go and fucking on a Friday night, go and rent like five five video games, bring them home, uh, put them in here and download them all to my hard drive and take them all back the next day. And be like these are all crap. And I, I did that for like three months before they caught on. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that that's how I found out about it. And then I started doing PSPs. I uh, started doing PSPs first. Uh, because they were the easiest to do, because it was all in the batteries and things. And then I got into doing, uh, oh then I got into doing, I got into 60s and stuff. Hmm. Uh, and but but the, but like but the modding community, the way these things come out, it's so simple. I mean, you pretty much download a program, and as I I did more into it. But as, as long as you hook it up correctly and just run the program and put type in the right information on some of the things, especially with the Xbox 360, changing out the keys and the drives and modding the drives to play burn discs. Like it was after a while, it was mostly it was mostly automatic because. Yeah, um, it, yeah. I looked. I looked at the automatic. Xbox One, and it looks pretty fucking simple. Looks like you <laughs> just download like something on a yeah. uh, flash drive or something. And <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, so the, the, what is yeah, it? Is the PS3 it was Microsoft a now at the point where it's like Xbox One has been out long enough that like we'll just tolerate them people modding it? See, I didn't even know people were modding Xbox Ones or PS4s. Because and the reason and the reason is because well like, why wouldn't they have time over right, time well, think, you well, know that's because well that's because uh for a, a long time for the Xbox One uh you have to is for you have to be online for certain things and it has to update itself mm-hmm. and it, yeah. because they're because they're farm systems like when I when I was modding 360s and I was burning games that came out a month and in two months before they came out I told people not to play them online because the minute you put your Xbox online they're gonna know you played Halo fucking three fucking a month before it came out and that mm-hmm. will get you banned but people didn't listen and they still get banned and I'm like. You should listen to me. You should right. play it offline, but you got you can't. You dumb wait, shit. You didn't unplug yeah, well, you the card. Get these games. Don't go home and start playing Halo Three online, where everybody can see you play Halo Three a month before it comes out. It's fucking stupid. But right. it's it's a uh, amateur. But it's, it's the new like I, I didn't start buying games until the PS Xbox One and PS Four came out because I didn't know people were so modern because of the way they had to be constantly connecting and constantly yeah. updating and. It, and if you like, if I don't update my Xbox One, it tells me I can play. I'll, I I can play offline. But if um, but if it's not my home console or something like that, or the settings I set right, I can't play the downloaded games. Only the games I have on a disc. Mm-hmm. So I I and, and plus because I spent five hundred bucks on this thing, I didn't want to break down into it, get into it. So I didn't even know they were modding Xbox One. I know they're modding Switches. I was thinking yeah. about getting me a, a, a Switch and modding one of those. But yeah, they, I didn't know they were, I didn't know they were modding. They're modding those. Uh, the ones right. in the PS. So um, yeah, I don't know how that works. Um, in terms of. Or do if I you have can ever the time. Up, if you can ever have that hooked up to the internet if, or since, since I'm getting the Series them. X and they're modding this shit, guess who's gonna fuck it? <laughs> guess who's gonna get back? Well, you can check shit. it out if you brick your fucking system, folks. Uh, we didn't send you there. So <coughs> just, you probably just don't want to do it. If you want, if you want to try modding one of the old consoles, uh, 360 and back, there are ways to repair them. They they're even if you get banned on 360, there I could even I, I used to be able to uh, unban you on 360. Hmm. So it was. It, it, there are ways to get it. These hackers come up with so many ways to get around things, and they make it, they make it extremely idiot-proof and extremely easy. So you know, if you ever want to it, buy an old 360 or an old console and try, you're it out, telling so. us we can trust these hackers. <laughs> most most of them, most unlike of them can, unlike those hackers other hackers we were told. Them. I mean, well, most of them you can because I mean, it, uh, also there there there's most a thing. Most of them. Well, first off, there when you when when the, when, a mo- when a modern hack comes out, when a modern hack comes out, whether whether it's a uh, whether it's uh, it's console or hardware or software, it it is first ver- people try it out and they get on there. They get on there uh, it's verified by the community. And if the community, oh, the community, sleep. okay, I see. So, like, yeah, basically, everybody. it's been peer reviewed, is what you're pretty saying. Mu- pretty much, right? It's been peer reviewed. And if, if, uh, if you're uh, brick uh, download, uh, thing, and everybody says, this, don't, it this my, didn't it, brick it, my entire it, system, right? I mean, yeah, and, and if I would enough play people, again, yeah, would do again, pretty much, yes. All right, so that's it. Here's for, Astra here to translate for the rest of you people for mods, <laughs> modding. Interesting, interesting if you're into some nerdy, nerdy, shit. nerdy shit and, and if you <laughs> want to get into vr <laughs> fucking get a quest too and check out and i'll leave i'll even offer you a deal teddy used to mod 360s for 150 bucks if you mention the show i would do it for two easy payments of 15.95 that is two payments of 15.95 people 
I'm just there you go. Right. There you have it. <laughs> All right, moving on. We've got what's sexy, where we tell you what's <clears throat> sexy in this world, and that brings me to the quest two. I'll bring it up. Quest two, right here. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, give us your review. So I'll give you the review. Uh, it's got a higher resolution than the Rift S. Yeah, it's got about the same battery time. Uh, about two and a half hours with the stock battery. I would say uh, can that you not, the can you not battery plug in time, the, the Rift time? S doesn't you have You can plug battery. it in at the same time. Okay. Uh, so the, the only thing that I would say that I would say critically about it right now is the strap that it comes with, the stock strap, oh, is yeah. bullshit. Cool. So get your... They have a strap upgrade that you can get uh, that is actually much better. It's like fifty bucks for for the strap. Okay, it's like the one on the Quest S, or the are you uh, Rift about? S. Is it the, I mean, is it you talking about the strap that goes around your headphones on the head or what? Around your, your head. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, on the yeah, on the Quest, Quest yeah. Oculus is, it's this thing here, thing. right? And it's you. just it sucks. It sucks. I'm getting so, feedback. If you yeah, own two Oculuses, is it Oculi? Oculi, right? Yeah, Oculi. So. The um, I would definitely oh, recommend getting a different strap. Also, it's got uh, three locked-in yeah, IPD good. settings, so I'm not hearing anything. What's feedback. that mean, IPD settings? So the IPD is the distance between your pupils. Ah. Uh, so. Um, so how do you determine that? You measure it. Wow. You get a ruler out and you measure between your pupils. So you get it in front of a mirror. So, yep. Yeah. So my so my 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 wife my wife just mentioned me she said she's watching the show and she's like uh, you've talked about the Oculus a lot on the show and she's like is that Oculus thingy a sponsor or something because he mentions it a lot. <laughs> well, I mean the, the quest the quest two is uh, I would say especially especially with side quest VR out there where you have all of this free content um, because if you're you're looking at games on the Oculus Store that's thirty bucks a pop. Now you you can plug in um, and play from your PC with the have Oculus you tried that Link. Yet? Uh, yeah, and actually you can play it over uh, Wi-Fi as well. So you can stream from your PC to hmm. the Quest via Wi-Fi, which I've done. I've I was playing uh, half. Is it a little? There's got to be. A, is there any sluggishness with it or not? No, no. <laughs> as long as you've got uh, a good enough uh, router, good enough internet connection, and wire your internet, you should be. Good to so go. So the video processing um, is being wirelessly transmitted. Yep. Can you can you can you have it? I know it's VR for you, and it's hooked up to a PC. Is mm -hmm. there a way to hook it up to a TV screen in case you have people over to or, yep. or something? So to, all okay. you do you while you're in there is you just select it right on your dashboard, and you say cast to TV, and it'll cast to the TV. Oh, okay. So it's got to be cast. It can't be hooked. It's got to be cast to it wirelessly. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. Yeah, you cast so you have to have a TV. smart TV to do this shit. Yeah, you got to have a smart TV, or you could get like a um, like a Chromecast or something like that. So, yeah, uh, with SideQuest... <laughs> My and girl just clowned you about PD distance, bro. With, with all that shit, um, <laughs> you, 300 bucks. 300 bucks, and you can have yourself a robust VR system um, that doesn't need a PC. If you Did you get that it. one or the... Uh, the I big... got the more expensive one because I'm going to be putting a bunch well, of shit which on one, it. Which one do you have, Astray? You've got the, the two or the just regular the Oculus? Rift S, which is... A plug-in version, so I got uh, a cable gotcha. okay. coming out of it. I can't go out and frolic in the park like Oracle does. <laughs> so if you have a cable on it, how the fuck do you keep punching walls, bro? <laughs> well, it's because I didn't really learn how to set my boundaries properly. I had them like too conform to my environment. That so works that I was... on so many levels. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, here's right my question. Though. So Oracle, do you just I've seen the videos of you on, on when you when you stream on on Facebook and things like that. Are, so you're just standing in one place doing all your things, right? Yeah. Pretty much. So Ashtray, why are you moving around the goddamn room? Well, so what it was is because my the boundaries I was setting were too close to me. So whenever I'd swing my arms okay, around. Okay, you know, here, okay here, here's the question. Okay, okay, never mind. You, you, you answered. Never mind. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh the 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 boundary like warning was flashing so much that it's like, you know, you become accustomed to it. You just went into an epileptic seizure and just got <laughs> oh, no, fucking... It's just like, 
<laughs> when I got close to it and it kind of flashed, it was kind of like, whatever, it's always flashing because I'm fucking beating robots. And no, this, like, one time I was just going to smash this robot in the face. That's the way this one knuckle still got like little lump in it and i just whacked my fucking wall right at the Dude, okay karma door. okay teddy just experienced i was fucking with you by hitting shit and i left my old ass sharp ps2 right here next to me and i moved my elbow like this and i just knocked my elbow on the corner of this old brick ass ps2 and so i'm sorry for making making fun of you because you don't know your memories. Um, and you dislodged <laughs> the fucking memory card so you just oh, yeah, the fucking did. system <laughs> yeah, right. all right next up we've got mystic off the cuff so it's a show I found on Amazon. Uh, it's like a documentary show, but it's done by two like younger dudes. And it's, I don't know, it, the, the first one I saw was on LARPing. It was actually on uh, the biggest, it's called the Penzik Wars. It happens every year for two weeks in Pennsylvania. Like 10,000 fucking uber dorks. Like show up there in like Dude, armor and shit those, and like yeah. fight for their but houses. Here, here's a, and but stuff, here's man. the thing: a lot of the chicks that do it are super fucking hot, and they dress Not like these. chicks. I larped when I was a kid. I don't know you. I don't know who you were looking at, but well, you, you must have been. You must have been with call wrong, it LARPing. wrong folks. <sighs> Has anybody ever done like any, any larping for in real life? When no. I was a kid, we used to play mm-hmm. uh, Alien Predator, but. That was like we weren't in costumes or anything. It was just basically like. Well, that's just like any that's, kid well, that, playing that's out not, in a that's, playground. That's, that's really just make believe playing. That's not larping. Yeah. You dress up with a so, foam sword no. as a whatever <laughs> yeah, and go out you and, feel, and beat the shit out of somebody with a foam okay, sword. No. You know, you have a lot. I just played around with my imagination with my. Okay, friends. then the answer is no. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, so anyway, the, the the whole show isn't about larping. Each episode is about something different. But they have an episode about that fucking, uh, what's that, Concrete City or whatever the fuck, Slab City that's mm, in California. Yeah, Slab City, right? <clears throat> and they have an episode about fucking, uh, like, the largest underground warehouse system in the world oh, is, like, yeah. in fucking, where was it, Kansas, Kansas or something? City. Yeah, it's Kansas, Kansas City. City. That's what, it's I in drove Missouri. past yeah. that thing, and I didn't realize it was what it was. It's just, like, it made this, like, underground? shops you know yeah. it's just like here's a little like a parking ramp kind of entrance it's like oh well, that's kind of weird and then yeah, i saw this thing later shit, but like they, they have a whole store all kinds it. of shit down there right yeah yeah it's like a like it's huge it's like a huge like archive fucking... i can't remember it's with the way the rocks are yeah um it keeps so anyway, the moisture check it out hmm. it's all off the cuff on amazon off the cool. cuff all right next cool. up Teddy, gun uh, pass to shoot white ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I took my uh, concealed carry permit. Uh, I'm sorry, enhanced concealed carry permit class here in Tennessee. They just changed the law. I don't know why. Enhanced. It. Yeah, it's it, it, before concealed carry. We you can only carry in certain. They, you can only carry in certain places. Well, I don't know why, but I have enhanced. I can carry more places. <laughs> I don't know it, why. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Um, it was the cla- I like I like the knowledge it gave me the the safety things, the things I, I thought I knew it and reaffirmed. Uh, the the thing that was most disturbing is the is the who it, it's it's the way these crackers want to put a bullet in somebody's ass. The questions people were asking about when you can shoot. Okay, it's it's uh it's the, okay. One guy was he he's it also taught me how 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 much people want to get in everybody else's business. Uh, one guy one one question he asks is okay, what if what if there's a person abducting a kid? Can I shoot him then? And the guy and the and the and the, the, the guy's like the guy's like okay, oh, guy's like, okay oh, if he's okay oh, one your oh. life's not in danger. And I get that that kid at the time he's just running with that kid, so a kid's not life is not in danger. He could be taken. I mean, it, it, he could be taken to get some ice cream. He could be he could be abducted and do harm. I get it. But, uh, yeah. but if you go to if you go to shoot this guy. For one, you're shooting him in the back as he's running away. So, so legally, there's no, there's no thing there that you can say. But also, if you're not getting enough shot and he's carrying his kid, and and you shoot the kid instead, or the bullet goes through him and hits the kid, you just murdered the kid that you were trying to save. So you have to think because because they teach you that. Uh, Teddy, and, and there are no stupid questions. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, yes there are, bro. Some, I mean, is I mean, one one woman asked a question. Uh, what if the guy was grabbing my purse or shit or whatever? And and the other she was like, what if he's trying to rape me? And the guy was like, okay, well, where in this scenario are you in this rape? And she's like, he's taking my clothes off. I was like, well, I, okay, well, you should have shot him already. Okay, I mean, like, it's, it's like, it's, like some of the things these people are asking. What? Like, like, 
Uh, oh, I'm not. I'm not shitting you, bro. I mean, and then they, it was. It was. It was. It. I. I. I have. As soon as he gets up. my brazier off, I'm pulling out my. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, I. I have. I. I bought my gun because I. I am very. I'm. I'm very terrified of what's happening after once, the elections and everything else. And I want to protect the family that I have. As soon as he gets the tip near me, I'm gonna give him my tip. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll see what it feels like, but I'm not gonna. But it was I'm but these people like, like, I mean, it, it, it went on so long. These questions went on so long that, that the instructor get canceled. Yeah, the, the instructor who used to be a cop, he was like, he was like, look, okay, he's like, look. You are financially responsible for every bullet you left loose, and and what so you have to know what's in front of you, what what's what, where your target is, and what's behind your target. Because if you're using uh, full metal jacket ammo, which is what most people are selling, because you can't find hollow point ammo, it's gonna go through that person and through another person, and maybe into somebody else. So I mean, you you have to be. But these people were so ready to fucking just bust a cap in a motherfucker, and I hope you to God. I, I hope to God you I should never have been to fucking with him, dude. He should fuck with I mean, him and be like, okay, so okay, so here, hey, can I thing? shoot the ghosts that come to my house every Thursday? <laughs> I mean, so one of the things was the guy. The guy was like, "Okay, uh, uh, Amber Alert." The guy with the Amber Alert was like, "Going for he's trying to take a kid, whatever." Got to shoot him. Then uh, the next night, it was a, it was four hours each night, whatever. So the next night, uh, the, everybody's phone went off. It was Amber Alert, and my buddy said next to him, he "Was like, oh, Amber Alert, who wants to be a hero? That's what I was trying to say to the kid. Black Ultima, we got to find it." And it was so fucking funny. But I mean, I I, I am glad about the knowledge and everything else. But it also like like these people like um. Like there's so many people have guns now. There's so many people taking classes and everything else. It, it is it is getting to the it's it's we're all fucking doomed, man. Where's my alcohol? Fuck this. We're all doomed. Go on to the next person. <laughs> Fuck this. True, we are. All right. Next up, we've got ashtray, cheap ass China. Have <laughs> Oh yeah. So let me tell you my uh, fucking woes with uh, my first world problems with HEPA filters. I had uh, for. Long time had the what? What well, should have been a long time. The big ass Honeywell, you know, large <laughs> room HEPA filter system. Two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars. Anyways, if we think about it, a HEPA filter is nothing more than just a fan with a really nice filter. You're paying for that filter, and that's how they get you. But otherwise, it's just a fan, right? Well. They all have these like touch sensitive buttons. Beep. Beep. It, it's like heat sensitive what or something. The fuck. This shit, just listen, hear me out. This shit, I don't, like, I don't want to anymore. Over like <laughs> less than, I don't know, I had it for maybe like five years. And all of a sudden, like the touch sensitive button stopped working to where it's like I'm pushing it harder and harder. It's not a button, you know, a switch where it's like on, off on off no it's like it's fucking touch sensitive buttons they all went to shit me and my, i took it down to my brother's house like it wasn't working anymore it's like i spent over 200 dollars on this piece of shit we tore it apart because like we think it's a fan right it's a fan with an enclosure you put the hep filter on let's just switch it we'll just we'll just put a fucking light switch in there or something no nope. <laughs> oh that would have been great yeah we couldn't even like tra uh, trailer park boy it so you could know? you just get like a you just hook it up to like a box fan or something? Well, and... no, the, the whole point, I guess, <laughs> like <laughs> the unit <laughs> is that it's it's a it's a tight enclosure for the specific filter. Do, you know, then... we'll just duct tape the motherfucker <laughs> to just, a box. Yeah, fan. make it make a duct tape <laughs> enclosure. That'd be, that'd be trailer park boy style. <laughs> yeah, that would be my like fucking a filter. 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 Right, that'd be just skipping the entire fan process. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, my 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 whole. Uh, uh, point was like, this is these stupid touch. Like, why does it have to be these simple little touch buttons? And so I, with the COVID thing going on, I had a friend recently who had to stay isolated because his upstairs neighbor came down with COVID. And it's like, well, shit, I have just one upstairs neighbor. We share the same <laughs> ventilation system, you know. Who knows? So I better get a HEPA filter again. And it's like, wow. Fuck, I don't want to spend another $200 on the goddamn one that's the touch buttons because they all have fucking these heat touch sensitive buttons. So I found these cheap ass China ones uh, from their China part two ones. HEPA filters. Jesus. That's Needs how the British call it. China. Need a um, filter with some Warthog, A10 Warthog fucking toggle switches on it. Um, oh, they're not. Well, no, that's the thing is these don't even have. No, I couldn't find any with toggle switches. But you're right. 
like, or a fucking unlocking key that two people have to turn simultaneously yeah, yeah, yeah. and Shh. recite a code. <laughs> this, these little guys, um, as you can see uh, from these pictures, they're only fifty bucks, and it's like, well, shit, I got three rooms in my house. I'll get three of these for one hundred fifty dollars. And then if, you know, one of them wears out where the buttons don't fucking work when I push it, like, I'll still have two running. And, you know, fuck paying what Honeywell. What are you doing to these buttons, man? I ain't doing anything. They just... <laughs> okay. You, they're you, you drink You drink a lot and you do a lot of drugs, okay? So I've tra- broken, I've broken <laughs> two fucking two Xbox Elite controllers just because I pressed too hard when I was on Molly. Okay, so you don't... Yeah, I'm saying these five, five, five years is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're, you're doing two hundred dollars. Travis says, Dude, I go bought on a twenty six hundred dollar TV, and that fucker blew up three years later. So don't fucking give me that shit, dude. <laughs> Travis says, go on eBay and find some repair buttons. You just did yeah, that, for, did a that for a vacuum. Be a fucking man. I got, I gotta say, I gotta Travis, say Travis. No, I looked awesome online to see if like, I could buy like that part because it was like one unit. The entire there were no buttons. That's the thing is, there's no. It is just like one little surgery. They make that shit so you got to buy a new one, man. Right? I know. That's why it's like fucking bullshit. So I got these cheap ass China ones. China, China not China. All right. All right. That's how the British say it. I'm pretty and sure Trump. the British don't say that. They don't yeah, say that right. shit. <laughs> okay, no, fuck what they you call think. Them this is what we say <laughs> when we hate Cancel. everything and everyone in the world. Mystic, yeah. whiny bitches. All right, so, like, a lot of people whine about their lives and shit, right? <laughs> Including me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so, the American way. <laughs> so, I fucking, I catch some piece of metal in my tire yesterday, right? And I'm, I'm not going to change it, because I'm fucking, you know, I live <laughs> yeah. in America. So, I call roadside assistance, right? Mm-hmm. This dude shows up half an hour later in a little fucking Ford Ranger. He's old, probably 70 years old. He gets out, and I'm like, this motherfucker's going to change my tire? And he comes yeah, around to the back of the truck. It's not hard to change a tire. My seven-year-old can do it. Hold on, man. He comes around to the back of the truck, and he's only got one hand. <laughs> right? Like, his left hand is gone. Like, he's just missing a hand. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, I, I, I am totally enthralled. I'm in this like, what do I do? Do I fucking help him? Do I help him here? Like, what do I do? You know what I mean? Like, so I didn't help him because it's America, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you're oh, like, no, oh, I couldn't stand by no, I, This dude stupid changed that tire faster than anyone I've ever seen change oh, a really? tire. <laughs> yeah, it, apart from, you know, NASCAR or F1 or whatever, but... <laughs> Like, he fucking threw that. He had that big fucking, I don't know, three-ton jack or whatever. Like, I've done fucking, this shit before. Yeah, I lifted it out. He was Travis fucking said, pumping that hand. shit up. With was it, the, yeah, <laughs> just a single pump one? Yeah, he was just lifting it. He was doing it with his fucking foot while he's, like, <laughs> loosening up the lug nuts and shit. You <laughs> like, know what Jeff I mean? like, fucking, like, yeah, this dude is just, he's <laughs> wait, orchestrating wait. this shit. And then he's got a fucking compressor, so he just voop, 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 fucking... <laughs> Throws the tire on oh, and fucking nice. he's done. I'm like, holy fuck. Like, so when people whine about their lives, dude, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, a right. Call there's a one arm one hand guy fucking yeah. changing tires out there. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> All I gotta say. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. And Teddy's showing us his <laughs> when can I legally I shoot. I forgot that they gave me this shit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fucking Teddy got, I can shoot a person oh, and get off insurance. Insurance, yeah. So tell us a little <laughs> bit about your, your insurance, Teddy. Wait, is that okay. the title of your sex tape? When can I legally shoot? Oh, yeah, baby. She's got to be 18 or over. <laughs> uh, so the insurance I have, it's uh, it, it protects me. It's one hundred thirty-one dollars a month. Uh, it protects me. Uh, There's no limit to where uh, if I shoot somebody in my house Don't or and practice. I have criminal charges or non-criminal charges, they will they will uh, they offer a lawyer. There's no limit to that, and they will also um, w- one one of the most disturbing things about no this limit. is we'll send you all the lawyers. <laughs> this is one of the most disturbing happened. things about this. Okay, um, so right. if a criminal, it's yeah, yeah, you all probably heard stories about this. If a criminal 
uh, breaks through your house and, and hurts himself or, or, or I shoot him or you shoot him or whatever, and he doesn't die after he goes to jail or prison, he can still sue you. So, so they're not legally allowed to tell you that the best witness is no witness. Uh, so he says they, they they this is a term they use a lot in this class is neutralize the fucking threat. Okay. <laughs> so, but anyway, my, the fucking threat. So so, right? but, so but, but, he, but he's like if, if somebody and the guy's like I can't legally tell you to shoot him and everything else and shoot to kill. But if somebody's coming after your family, you know, and blah 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 blah. And like, you, you know, so, so it's one hundred and thirty a year, right, Teddy? Not one hundred and thirty a month. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, 130 a year. Sorry, not 130. Okay, sorry. yeah, that makes oh, a lot of sense. that's even better. I'd probably <laughs> pay 130 here, a month. Here's, here's <laughs> the <laughs> thing: it covers, <laughs> it covers me. It covers it. It's it's self defense insurance. So even if you don't own a gun, you can get this insurance. Uh, it's self defense insurance. So if I I carry a knife with me all the time, I'm black, so Is I'm not gonna carry my gun. Is it fucked up that I legitimately thought that that's not a bad price? <laughs> 130 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a it's kind of yeah, 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 yeah. It, it is a great price. If you want to pay by the month, it's only ten dollars a month. They have different add-ons you can have. They have an add-on for if you get your gun stolen. Uh, if you go, I'm, I'm, to I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, when I thought it was a month, I thought oh, that was a good price. This oh, really? <laughs> seems like because that seems like something that, this as a black the, man, you should probably have at all times. This is the most American right, ass right, thing I've right, ever heard the, in my life. Right. It's self-defense insurance. So if I'm if I'm out this with my like family whatever, and somebody attacks me and I bring heaven. my knife out and I cut his ass, whatever, and I get charges or he sues me, whatever, they protect me against that. It's, it's self-defense insurance. It covers me through yeah. all the states. It's, it's fucking – it is insane. And and here's, here's, here's the kicker, all right? If I were to shoot or injure somebody, the first thing I could do if they're still alive is call <sighs> the Okay, if they're still alive or you think they're alive, you have to call an ambulance. The, if, that, if that's not the case, the first call I should make is this number <laughs> on the back of my insurance card to where it would connect me directly to a lawyer. Don't I tell call them what happened. Oh call my the god! Lawyer first. They call the cops and tell them what happened. When the cops get to me, I tell them I am invoking my right to silence and I will not make a statement until my lawyer gets there. Shut the fuck up. Let them arrest you. Take you to jail and sit there in a the room quietly until the goddamn lawyer you paid for gets there. And these lawyers specialize. What if the lawyer? You, what if you call and they're just like finish him off? Do it, finish <laughs> what you started. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, that's just, okay, Dude. so that's, that's, that's oh. where these questions came in because uh, <laughs> you are in our state, and our state is different. Let's say, but in our state, you, if you feel like there's an imminent and immediate danger or, or death or bodily harm to you. Or, or your family, whatever, you you have the right to use deadly force. But if this motherfucker's trying to come up my stairs and I shoot him twice in the chest and he throws the gun away in my fireplace, I don't get to walk down the rest of the stairs to pop that motherfucker in the head because that's fucking murder. So you have to, like, once once the threat is over, if, like, if I'm beating somebody's ass and they, and they tap out or give up and you keep pounding their head till they die and people say he tapped out, then you just committed murder. Because if, once the threat is over or once the threat is gone, if, if I'm running away, you can, if, I, if I pop two shots at you and then, I, and then I throw my gun down and start running away and you shoot me in the back, you still, it, it, it's still illegal. So, but these people, the, the way these people are trying to trying to get away with, it, I'm like Jesus Christ. Neutralize the threat. Neutralize the threat. Not kill a motherfucker. Hey, just I have a quick story. Them. My mom, when she was young, I was a young, I was just born, so this was probably 79, 1980, somewhere around in there. We we lived in Virginia, and uh, someone broke in and she shot. Uh, she had a 20 gauge. She fucking shot exactly. through the door. Trying to fucking get it because no one would answer who was there, and uh, shot through the door and like I don't know she you know she missed him obviously he took off, uh, but the cop told her he's like, yeah make sure that he's fully inside. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. If you yeah. want to shoot I mean, someone, <laughs> he's like, because then you can say self defense. Put your hands up. That was in Virginia. So get in both your feet so can... inside the door. Right. There was a guy who <laughs> asked. There was a guy who asked if he was running out of my house, do both of his feet have to be over the threshold? Can one foot be in the in my house and one over the threshold before <laughs> I shoot him in the yeah. back? And the cop was like, you shot him in the back. Yeah, Unless he had a gun in his hand doing like this to you, God. you shot him in the back. He was leaving. The threat was neutralized. He was leaving. And I'm like, Jesus, these people just want to shoot a motherfucker. I mean, that guy, like, for your, your mom, Mystic, that guy must have been doing some shady ass shit because... 
I mean, if somebody knocks on my door and they don't answer who it is, I'm not oh, going to no, just no, start no. blasting through into the... the house. She oh, shot he... through the bedroom door. Oh, okay. Because she was outside, like, fucking the handle was turning and shit. And she's like, who the fuck's there? And like, who's there? And she okay, fucking that... pulled that shit. She was in the army and shit, dude. She that knew how to shoot. She way pulled that more shit sense. up and pow! Right. I <laughs> thought it was just somebody like the fucking mailman or something. No, no. He was already I, in the house. So like the cops like fucking just fucking I think the cop was basically telling her if you had winged him, make sure you fucking finish it. You know right, what I mean? Before like, he gets out of the house. Yeah, exactly. make sure he's still in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. That's why they tell you like like neutralize the threat. And here okay, here's the thing about it, right? So in in my class, I had to shoot this. I got a ninety six on my shooting, right? The, the yellow this parts are, are fucking thing. So yeah, yes, my program. Yellow we're parts, the, the, the targets target I shoot at about the size of my body. So this is those look like seven. pencil. And it, but all, 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 all of these, all of these will kill a motherfucker, right? They, there are no legs to shoot it and make him crawl out of your house. Okay, just just want to put that in there. <laughs> That's the thing is, people don't. They're like, oh, shoot him in the leg. No, the train never says shoot him in the leg. Shoot him, shoot him dead, in the leg. Right, exactly. Dead mass. Center mass. Center Even mass. this class is center mass, and, and, which I, I get it, but I mean, it's... Center mass. Yeah, but if you're I, trying you know, to hit him in the legs and shit, you, you, there's a, you might miss, right? Yeah. So yeah, to I, neutralize, I get, I get you fucking I, I shoot him that. in I center that. mass. Get, mass. I do get that, but I mean... But, sure, but, but at the, at the neutralize same time, gets I, really close to kill. <laughs> right. Well, right, it's, if it, and I'm not that willing to take a human life. I'm yeah, well, you want to break into someone's house. Hey, if you want, <laughs> if you want to cover your ass, you do a double tap. You hit them two times, one at, one right after the other, and what that does is it basically make all the fluids inside you were talking about, yeah. Teddy, with the shock waves, the shock waves blows yeah. a hole right through them. Yeah, because uh, the shock uh. waves collide. Yep. So, and yep. then you can say, "Hey, I just shot twice really quickly, and uh, this is what happened." Sorry. All right. Yeah, so the, the fact that they could tell that it didn't matter that I knew the physics behind it. And... <laughs> All right. They don't That's know that. Do. So fuck what That's you why think. You shut up. Mine is uh, from Newsweek. I was uh, reading uh, some clickbait and I found this magpie tries to gouge man's eyes out after he <laughs> refuses to share his food. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> this is so fucked up. You Listen to this. Of it? This is from uh, Newsweek. An Australian huh. man suffered serious eye injuries in an attack by a magpie as he was eating lunch outside and refused to share his food with the bird. So James Glindeman, 68, was sat on a park bench in sale, southeastern Australia on Tuesday when the incident occurred. And this is the guy. I sat down at a bench there and the magpie came up and I started talking to it because I like them. <laughs> and it looked at me and I didn't give it any food. So it just attacked me. So it <laughs> fucking struck his eyes, like both of his oh, eyes. Jesus. The attack was over in a matter of seconds. There was some blood dripping. Uh, paramedics rushed him to the hospital. So the left eyeball had suffered serious damage as the magpie penetrated the cornea. Oh, wow. Christ, man. Oh, <laughs> Glindeman God, underwent man. a two-hour operation to repair the damage. Two-hour operation? <laughs> That's some Alfred Hitchcock shit. <laughs> right? <Damn>. How insane <laughs> is that? If you're fucking out on a bench, you fucking yeah. talk to your little magpie friend, and then it fucking goes berserk I, no, and I, it attacks that you. That magpie friend, hey there, little magpie, buddy. magpie gangster, because you, oh, oh, you ain't gonna share it, nigga? You really? Really? Fuck you. Yeah, pie. right? <laughs> <laughs> you know we only hang out with you because you feed us. Really, birds don't hang out with anybody just to be your friends. They hang out. It's just like dogs. Dogs love you, but if you stop feeding them and shit, just like cats, you stop feeding them, they, they will eat you. It's, it's just like, <laughs> I mean, shit. Right? That's how Michael Vick got all those dogs to be angry. First off, Michael Vick was not wow. present and did not choke a goddamn single dog. There don't are people in the, in the NFL. I mean, don't you ever. Teddy, oh, why are you Vick. defended Michael Vick so much? What's because I made so much money playing Madden 2004 when he played for the Falcons off of that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. next up we have Teddy with Manning hype. Okay, so I, I didn't know how to how to label this, but um, uh, it's I, I the, the um, Archie Manning. The kids have a, a kid coming out. Um, uh, coming uh, the the kids. Uh, are, okay, so the Mannings. Uh, Archer, uh, the the grandfather played for the Saints a long, long time ago, and then Eli and and fucking and Peyton played, mm -hmm. and now their nephew or whatever, uh, Archie Manning, is a quarterback for the high school, 
and and they're talking about how this kid's gonna be the next great winning shit. Um, they televi- uh tonight was his first the first televised game on ESPN. What? Uh, for him, exactly. Well, well they school? did the same thing. They did the same thing with LeBron James. Once they start saying he was the, he was a shit, and Kobe Bryant, they did the same thing with him. When they say he's gonna be the shit, they started televising his games. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but Michael Jordan started walking LeBron James into his high school games. I, 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 I think this is too. Oh, I think I this is too much. This is too much pressure to put on kids. Right? He's in high school yeah, right now. Yeah, right. Right. It's, right. This is, too much he, pressure. Gotta, but look where LeBron James is now. Right. I get that, but that, that was also back when 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 college kid co- uh, basketball players from high school. Okay, you you can you can go from from high school to NBA and and, and and basketball. You can't do that in 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 football because there's so much growth and muscle mass to put on. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you got to go through co- through high school, college, and then. And then, I mean, you never heard of an NFL player coming from high school and going straight to fucking straight to the NFL. You, you can't, can't do that. You have to. That's you right. have to be right. out of it for, for three years. Well, well, not well. Okay, that that's 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 because of the NCAA rules. But I'm I'm talking about strictly body mass and, and everything else like that. Uh, but no, I, I that's think, the NFL rules. You have to be. Oh uh, really? You have yeah. You can't oh, you have, have to fucking, be out of college for so many years or out of high school. You have to, yeah. You you don't necessarily have to go to college, but you can't just go right from high school to the mm-hmm. NFL. Oh, see, I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, I didn't know that. Just like just like uh, basketball now too. Yeah. How else basketball. do you get there if see, you're not playing college ball? But basketball well, shapes walk out. Oh, you don't. But that's but that's their way of getting around it. You, they're <laughs> basically saying you have to go to college for three fucking yeah, yeah. years. You could be Mark yeah. Wahlberg. Just like okay. basketball, it's one year. Like you have to go well, to yeah, college they, they for only, one year. But I believe that basketball only changed that because they were losing out on on the money the superstars from high school would they, that the college would have got right. for these, these kids playing for in high sure. school. And, yeah, so that, yeah, it was a move. Favorite. It was pressure by the NCAA, probably. Right. Yeah, yeah. But my thing is, this is this is a kid. He's still in high school. I don't know what grade he's in. Probably probably either junior or senior. I think he's a senior. Okay, probably a senior. But they're talking about how this kid's the next grade. They, they tonight was the first televised game he had on ESPN. I, I think this is too much pressure to put on children. I mean, I, I get it. I, I get it. He I get did it. Throw I get like it. He's, six touchdowns or some shit. So I mean, yeah, I, I get it. But, school, it, right? I, I, but it's still high I know. School. Yeah, no, I get that. John, but... I mean, John. They call Johnny Manziel Mr. Football in in, in in fucking in college, and now he's doing fucking direct TV football, insurance so. commercials. So <laughs> <laughs> or direct direct insurance commercials, whatever. So. It's it's I think you need to let him be kids and enjoy it. I, I get he's a Manning and everything else, and I just I just don't. It, 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 also, if I if I'm a if I'm a lineman or, or a linebacker on the other team and this motherfucker and they talking all this shit about him, I w- I don't want to be I don't want him to be known for throwing six touchdowns. I want to be known as a, as a linebacker who got through and got seven sacks to put this motherfucker out of the game. So I, I think I think it kind of puts a, I, I, in my mind I think it kind of puts a, a a bullseye on the kids back. Uh, going up through the rest of the ranks Absolutely. because people are going to be gunning. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. like any, uh, you know, prodigy, um, you're going to have. Like that? Why did I say it like that? Yeah. Because... What, do you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? You got a problem against prodigy? What are you trying to say? Yeah, I have a problem against prodigies because you know what? If I'm that guy who's like, I'm at least good enough to be on the team. And I'm on the fucking line here. And it's like, there's that, there's that hot shot motherfucking quarterback. It's like, I'm going to, it's like, oh, you know the target on his back? It's like, sure. Oh, I wouldn't want to smear him. You're just repeating what I said and took credit for it. I got you. White person. Way to go. Cool. All right. Way to go. Moving on. Who's next? Fuck what do you think? <laughs> All right. Ashtray. Anchorage mayor resigns after TV anchor woman's threats. Oh, yeah. Okay, first off, that's no. not a woman. She has a penis. It's the client um, game. Huh, huh. Yeah, no. Take I mean, a look, look at this bitch's face. Is... Oh, look at this bitch's Damn. face. She's got a like, this is one of those... Uh, like I say, um, they warn you, uh, you know, you, you put your dick in crazy. She looks pretty yeah. uh, demonic. I she know. is um, crazy. She's definitely. Yeah, demonic. her name is uh, Maria Athens. So she. Sam and Dean Winchester. Isn't is Anchorage that, the so. largest city in Alaska? Sounds yes. good to me. Or the only city in Alaska? <laughs> Fairbanks. It's, it is the largest. And yes, Fairbanks is another oh. large city. And Juneau also. But they're yeah, all under two hundred fifty thousand people. So right, so like Madison, like Madison's Alaska. bigger than them. Yeah, yeah. How so, do you know this much about Alaska? I I once wanted to move there. Oh, a okay. long okay. time ago. Okay. So the but, mayor. But then I was here. like, ah, there's a lot of snow. You're like, yeah, that. right. Yeah. <laughs> but you live in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that is, that yeah. isn't fucking Alaska level. No, snow. there's no yeah. Yeah. yeah Alaska is a certain level of like you got to have like Russian fortitude, right? Um. So, anyways, this uh, 
the mayor of uh, Anchorage had to basically resign. Um, and that's this uh, skinny doofus here. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look yeah. at him. <laughs> I mean, it looks, I like, it looks like she could beat reason, him in a fucking arm right, wrestling. The only reason yeah, he did that is yeah. because he was the mayor. That is the only reason he hit that. Because oh, yeah. he was well, yeah, he's he's gay and she is a transvestite. Teddy is right. So she was. <laughs> she's a she was a news anchor, and she, I guess, all of a sudden, uh, tweeted this like, "I've got this breaking story," but the mayor <laughs> posting uh nude pictures on an underage website of himself. Oh man! And who the you know, fuck like, does that? Why why would you do that? Because Why? she took it no, quiet it's because she understand. was it's, just, it's because Why she was think? already having an affair with him. Yeah. No, but and, did she put them up there, or did yeah. he willingly right. put these pictures think, on a website? No, I think no, I think no, she, no. She, he sent her naked pictures, and they, she, and they had an argument. Whatever he wanted to break up, where they had it, they had a spat. So she put the put him on that uh, website, and then said, "Look at," sent him, and she said, "Look, I'm a, I'm gonna post this on here unless you fucking are." And I'm saying, so right. That's yeah, what I think he, happened. Exactly. Teddy knows how these things go down. And yeah, because I can look. I, I'm not, look, look. I'm not gonna say whose name, but I have somebody. Who I do it. Who loves crazy. No, I have somebody in my family who loves crazy women. I can't say who that person is because they watch my show. But I love you, your family. Right. I got you. But yeah, that, that like you can see in her eyes, she's that kind of like, twisted uh, woman. <laughs> and no. uh, anyways, so what she did is she's she she tried to frame. She tried to frame the mayor um, that he was posting nude pictures on underage websites, and wow. she, that was the story she was going to break. And it in turn, like, also, like, right at the same time she said she's going to break this story, the news um, station, like, basically barred her from the premises and, like, Fired her, uh, and wow. um, turns out the station manager is her boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> she wow. was having an affair with the mayor of Anchorage, Damn. and the station manager was the boyfriend. Are you sure there aren't like ten people in Anchorage? Because this, I know, like... right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like right. turn the noises. But yeah, the, essentially the. The married mayor of Anchorage was having an affair with this uh, woman, um, Maria Athens, who was a newscaster of Anchorage. So, of course, they're going to see each other on a regular basis. Um, wow. And, uh, yeah, so she tried to basically, like, frame him. Who knows what kind of argument, like, made her go, like, fucking crazy. And... To the point, too, where her boyfriend, who knows if he knew, he probably was suspicious, but, like, you know, at what point was it like, all right, I got to basically ban my girlfriend from <laughs> and kick her out of the news station. And then she got arrested. I forgot to mention. She For got what? arrested later because she, after the restraining order that she couldn't come back on the premises, she came back to the, to the news station to chew out her boyfriend, <laughs> the station manager. So they okay, called the cops. That, cop. that takes a lot of lot of balls to fucking cheat on your boyfriend, get fired because he's your boss, and then come back. You're like, How the fuck do you fire me? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. That's, that's, that's like some shit. she put a restraining on you, and she got arrested. See, see white and privilege. Basically, the uh, yeah, the <laughs> FBI field office in Anchorage, like coordinate with the police department there, and they're like, well, we couldn't find any evidence of her allegations, but it basically just completely. Uh, exposed this affair and like she just went, you know, fucking nuclear and blew this up in front of everybody. All just, right. So funny. don't fuck awesome. with crazy. Don't yeah. fuck with a. Uh, Look, I get, I get it. They're hot and they're awesome in bed, but it will Wait, come back. Anchorage to has an ass. FBI field office? Every, every state does. FBI field office? Yeah. Every yeah, state every does. Every state has one. Dude, there was a, um, the one, the one here, uh, and they're mostly in. Uh, there, there was one here in Nashville, and all of the, all of the FBI agents would come to my, that would come to the bricks that I work at, and everything else. And fucking, like, how up. shitty do you have to be to be the dude in Alaska? You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Like the <laughs> FBI know? field office in Wyoming or some they shit. Probably, like, they probably have a lot of crazy ass crime up there, though. Oh yeah, some of those weird yeah, stories. It, it seems though, like Alaska would go is as a place where people would go to where they don't, don't want to get found or. Right. Or, they have yeah, a big math so. problem there, apparently. Oh yeah. Well, and also if you well, were anywhere someone there's who, white people, there's a big meth problem. If you uh, actually it's among the law enforcement, people, you fucking racist in asshole. Alaska. Oh what? really? Wow. Um, yeah. FBI, it'd be normal. All right. That's yeah, it for the show. Extra. Yeah, right. Fuck yourself, Atlantis. It's my you are. Nerds. It's the fucking, fucking bottom of the Aquaman. sea. Aquaman. Aquaman, bitch. Cock sucking fuck. Aquaman. Are we really running out of fucking, like, real cities that we had to start dating? Ah, no, before? there's plenty of real cities. We just don't <laughs> like look at them, any of them up. Yeah, I'm too lazy to look it up, so I, I just thought... <laughs> Atlantis, right? It's Atlantis. Also, right. two legs in the Why are you showing us your knuckles, dude? I don't want to see your knuckles. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> That's our show. I just was like leaning on my tower case. I didn't realize. <laughs> it's going to be here every Thursday or Wednesday, probably Thursday night at 10 p.m. Central. Make sure you join the conversation at the redeyereport.com or facebook.com slash redeyereport. Uh, don't fuck around with Twitter. We lost that password. It's somewhere in Anchorage with the aliens. Yep. And uh, like and, and share and people focus. doing fucking meth. <laughs> doing meth with the aliens. In and and people doing that. Doing meth. Talk. <laughs> We're down for whatever. I'm Oracle. I missed. This it. is blushing knuckles, blushing knuckles ashtray. And this is Teddy doing the show under protest. This is a white privilege episode. It's actually my turn, but Oracle was so hyped about his modding and, and new shit he bought that he just, he just took over. So, That's right. so we, we will be back with my, with my episode next week about traders, and Oracle is going to be the main topic. All right. There you go. No, we won't, because I really, really want to do a show about LARPing. So. <laughs> oh, LARPing is on then. I'm kidding. Let's do it. I'm going to live right. action yeah, role play right Teddy next week. Nice. All right, that's it.